el sol Cambia el tiempo en el reloj Hoy mis deudas reciben perdón Pago por el show Me siento feliz porque Si no soy yo, pues ¿quién? Todos caen a mi lado Good morning everyone and welcome to the Spanish travel vlog Oh my word am I excited to be here as you can see from my background I'm in a very different location to compared to where I normally start my videos so it's currently day two of our or day one and a half I guess because we didn't really get like a full day yesterday of our <laughs> Spanish travel vlog. I'm so, so excited. If you haven't seen my last video, you won't know. But we have come away for five days to the south coast of Spain, which I'm so, so excited about. We're staying in a little town called Marbella. We flew in yesterday to Malaga Airport, which was really, really smooth sailing, actually. Um, it was a really straightforward flight. We threw from Heathrow, which we are really, really super close to. It was a very early start. Uh, we had to set our alarms for half four because it was quite an early flight that we had. Um, um, so we flew to Heathrow, had the like car meet and greet and everything like that. Um, and I would say the travel at the moment is like starting to get a lot easier than it once was. Apparently at the end of February, I've heard that people are even going to be scrapping the QR codes. So I don't think you'll even need your double vaccination QR code to go abroad anymore. But basically for Spain at the moment, as I'm filming this video... The rule is that you need your proof of vaccinations. Um, so we've had both doses plus the booster. So we printed all those off. Um, you just need your QR code. You can save it to your phone as well. Um, you need that. And then we flew, flew with British Airways and they needed proof of that in order to be able to check in and give us our boarding pass. And then you also need to fill out like a Spanish document form um which we did but you can't fill that out until you've checked in because you need your seat number so it was a little bit of a stress the day before because we were still waiting for british airways to have confirmed our vaccination status um so then you just fill out the spanish form and again that's another one that you can save to your phone and you just save it as a qr code so it's fairly straightforward all you need to do is proof of your vaccinations fill out your Spanish form, that was pretty much it. So it was fairly smooth sailing, which was really, really nice. And it was just a direct flight from Heathrow down to Malaga. Um, and it was really, really smooth. You had to wear like masks the whole time on the flight, but we're all pretty used to that by now. Um, so yeah, really, really smooth flight and we arrived around i mean we touched down around midday so we didn't actually get to our little villa until about one o'clock and i have actually filmed a little tour of it yesterday i didn't really want to start fully vlogging but i did want to show you the room before we fully unpacked so i literally was like not allowing alex to unpack not allowing him to get anything out of his suitcase until i'd fully like done a tour of the room and showed you guys so i will cut to yesterday ellie and give you a little tour of the room now Okay, so we walk in and we have such a gorgeous bed. Look at the size of that. I cannot wait to jump in to that tonight. We've just got our cases down here already <laughs> to unpack. Looking very, very neat. And can we just appreciate the outfit mirror that I am going to have to be able to show you my outfits of the day. I am wearing basically the travel outfit I told you guys I was going to wear. My ASOS trousers, my H&M jumper. This jumper is going to really, really serve in handy because it's just the perfect throw over my shoulders just to keep me a little bit warmer if I need to. I can chuck it on, I can tuck it in, I can do whatever I want with that. I absolutely love it. So we'll of course link all of the outfits from this video down below if you guys can shop all of them. But I just love the fact that we have a big mirror because I feel like hotels often really full flat when it comes to full size mirrors and like outfit mirrors and being able to see yourself so i love the fact that this is right as you come in um and then we've got the bathroom over here which is a very fancy i absolutely love it i'm loving this tiling i want to save this for some um future home inspo but we've got obviously lovely little toilet another mirror over here which i absolutely love and then this shower looks amazing i feel like nothing beats a waterfall shower this looks so so nice and then you'll be able to see out here we have a really cute little view look at that there's a little terrace over there with an orange tree and then you can see let me go out so 
So yeah, super, super cute view down the street, which is really nice. Then obviously we can like close these blinds for a little bit of privacy when it comes to getting in the shower. But what a stunning room for a little week's getaway. We also have some wardrobes over here. So the plan of action now is to unpack everything and get all the cases sorted. I'm always the packer and unpacker in the relationship just because Alex is useless at that kind of stuff. So I like to be able to get organized and sort it out myself. But I just wanted to show you the room before we exploded over it. So I'm gonna unpack now get ourselves sorted but really such a stunning room such a perfect little little week's getaway i'm so so excited and then downstairs is really cute please excuse i've already put a wash on um so <laughs> excuse the sound of the washing machine we have exploded around here a little bit um but it's so super cute we've just got the little kitchen area over here and then we've got a little indoor terrace which is really sweet as well which i absolutely adore we've not use that yet but that looks really really nice um and then here you just have the little the living room so really really cute and then we also have a little roof terrace so you get an even better view down the street let me show you look how cute that looks honestly so picturesque kind of regretting the fact that i decided not to do <laughs> pics while i'm here but no i didn't even bring my camera so that i wouldn't be tempted to take photos but it's so picturesque you can just see the mountains off in the background so we've got a little sunbathing area to hang out the washing and this is such a cute little like to sit and have a cup of coffee we were literally sitting having breakfast here this morning so it's so so lovely and what an amazing view to be able to look out on yeah today's plan of action is basically just to head out and have a little bit of an explore it's actually quite chilly um i was wearing a jumper yesterday and i ended up not even needing to take it off it's one of those where when you're sitting in the sun it can warm you up a little bit but the second you get in the shade it does feel pretty chilly it goes like i'd say lows of about eight nine degrees and then highs of about 15 which i would say in the uk 15 degrees you're often in like skirts um and like dresses by that point but here it is still very much jumper weather a lot of people are still wearing full coats so it's still one of those where like it is a little bit chilly and you do want to layer up um so yeah but we're going to be heading out today having a little bit of an explore so of course i will be taking you guys along with us and taking you along for the full winter sun spanish coast adventure so we better get going need to finish getting ready for the day getting all my bits on and then we can head out and have some fun just to show you today's outfit of the day my favorite outfit of the day mirror so as you would have seen i've got my little revolve graphic tee on which i really really like um and then i'm just kind of layering up it really is lots of layers so i've just layered it with my favorite h&m these are just a pair of black tapered trousers which i really like they're like a really nice length and a really nice fit they're super stretchy and super comfy so great for just like walking around shoes i've got my little beiges on which i really like again so comfortable and great for walking and then i'm just pairing it with my little my new little baby which you guys would have seen in my last video if you watched that little pack with me and unboxing my new demelier bag she is so perfect goes with so many things and i'm debating whether just to chuck my stripy jumper over my shoulders just for like a little extra layer of warmth sorry i'm a little far back so struggling to focus um just for a little bit of an extra layer of warmth just because as i said it is cold in the shade like it does get super super chilly all the locals around here are well at wearing full-on coats so they probably think us brits are really underdressed compared to them um but yeah this is today's outfit of the day outfit numero uno i mean you saw my travel outfit yesterday i guess so outfit number numero dos for the trip so let's head out and get going right we are on our way to find some coffee i'm thinking i'm having an iced coffee currently at the moment it's a rule in spain that no matter where you are outside inside masks are mandatory over here but i think is it tomorrow is it monday they're looking at monday. Res yeah monday so tomorrow they're looking at res like we might not be having to wear them from tomorrow so that would be nice because there's lots of hills when you've got a mask it's really difficult walking around um just look how pretty the streets look it's all just so quaint and so gorgeous absolutely love it Se acabó 
plata de festejar Celebramos el bienestar Tantas estrellas brillan Quiero un carro que corra más Nada me rompe, no, no, nada me rompe Trata de festejar Celebramos Okay, come down a street I can't remember the name of this But apparently it's a very famous street Because it is absolutely kitted out with statues um, from Salvador Dali, which if you don't know Salvador Dali, the one that you probably will know is the melting clocks. That's like his most famous piece of artwork. But I didn't know he also did sculptures and they managed to have them here, which I'm so, it's just so bizarre. Which this guy, I love the look of him. He's really cool. And then they've also got just loads of like street artists who are displaying their work as well people to walk through. There's this one as well. He's a very surrealist artist. I find it absolutely crazy how chill people are about it as well. I mean, as you can see, they're just sitting on his statues <laughs> and apparently that's okay. Um, and the last one, this is the last one. No, we've got a few more. This one as well. <laughs> he looks pretty cool. Just on this little street. And there's so many artists there just displaying their artwork, which I think is so sweet. I really, really love it. So yeah, apparently this is like a really famous street in um, the centre of Marbella. So it's a little further out from like where we're staying. <sighs> Look at this one. These are amazing. You may also notice that um, they don't seem to have taken the Christmas decorations down, which is like, it's the end of January. And I'm kind of surprised because especially in like Spain, I'm pretty sure that it's well, like you celebrate Christmas again on the 6th and that's when the wise men come. And then after that, you take them down. Like normally Christmas decorations don't stay up past the 12th of January, I'm pretty sure. But we've still got lots of uh, Christmas displays. They're not turning any of them on. They're just there. They just haven't um, thought to put them away yet, which is so bizarre walking around in the end of January and seeing Christmas displays. It's a little bit like, I kind of wanted to say to them, get your Christmas decks down. No one wants to see that anymore. Because it's kind of ruining the statues for me. <laughs> okay, we've just been um, walking down the beachfront and I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this in the camera, but right on the distance. Oh, I don't think you can see it, but just here, we can see Gibraltar. Ages we were trying to work out whether it was part of Spain or whether it was like Africa that we were seeing and like the mountains, but we think we're just a little bit too far to be able to see the north of Africa from here. So we think just there we're seeing Gibraltar, which I haven't visited Gibraltar since I was about maybe 12, I think was the last time that I was in Gibraltar. So it's really, really cool to be able to look at it. And it's like clearly just a very clear day that you can see completely along got all of Spain along there and we can just about in the distance see all the mountains and then we think just over there is Gibraltar which we got Google Maps out to check and it makes sense like it adds up so we think we can see it over there which is so cool first sangria of the holiday mm. oh my god so good. Are you going to eat your pineapple wedge? You want my pineapple wedge? Oh, okay. okay. Yep. <laughs> you can get a, basically get a bloomin' meal from these sangrias. Oh my god, this is like juice. This is going to go so quickly. Okay, we're back at the villa now. It's a couple of hours later since I last spoke to you. Basically, spent the last couple of hours upstairs on the roof terrace of the villa, which honestly is such a sun trap. I've actually gotten so warm, I've stripped down to just my t-shirt. And when we were walking about, I needed my t-shirt, my blazer, and my jumper over my shoulders. So I've now stripped down to just my t-shirt. And that is how warm it is getting when you're like sitting in the sun. And when it's like peak afternoon, it gets really, really warm. So that's been so nice. We've just been enjoying some drinks on the roof terrace but it's now time to start getting ready we are heading out this evening for a really nice meal i can't remember the name of the restaurant but i will tell you what it's called when we get there um i'm so super excited so we're gonna be looking nice dressing up looking pretty so i thought i could do a little get ready with me i'm gonna take my makeup off from the day because as you can see it's kind of like you know starting to come off a little bit my mascara is starting to run the lipstick's no longer there the face makeup is starting to fall off so yeah we definitely need a little bit of a top up so i'm gonna 
completely just take this off and restart. I always think it's so nice to do that. I often actually, especially when it's like hotter than this, if you've been sweating throughout the day, I think it's so nice. You know, like around the six o'clock period, like five, six o'clock, just before you head out for your meal, just have a little bit of a body shower. And honestly, the shower is an absolute dream. It's got a waterfall and like a body one as well, so you don't have to worry about like getting your hair wet. Um, I'm probably not gonna bother showering. I think I'm just gonna take my makeup my makeup off and start afresh with it and get myself all glammed up for this evening. Okay, looking very fresh faced now. Taken all of my makeup off, recleansed, re-moisturized, and ready for a fresh face of makeup. So I'm gonna go in first of all with my primer. Now I brought the Laura Mercier protecting primer. Now I love their pure canvas primers. I have a lot of different ones. This one I definitely don't really need in the evening because it has got SPF, but obviously because I had such a small kind of like only had my carry-on um, and a small amount of liquids that I could take, I kind of had to decide which one will be best to bring. Obviously this is best for like during the day and everything like that. Um, so this is the protecting, it's got SPF 30 in, which is great for during the day. As I said, don't really need it in the evening, um, but it's really handy to have that extra layer of SPF. I have also been applying like my normal sun cream as well, because I know a lot of people say that this isn't one to like rely on. Um, but it's just nice to know that it's just that extra layer, extra protection to make sure that I don't, you know, burn or anything or do any damage to my skin whilst I'm here. Next, I'm gonna be going in with the Codate foundation. This is one that I chose to bring because it's a great one for day and night. It's a very like layering foundation. You can really build it up to quite a full coverage. Um, and it's also my more like tan shade. So it's a really, really great one to bring. And it's nice for like the evening because it's not too shiny. It's not too glowy or anything like that. It's just the perfect one for like when you just want a little extra coverage and you can layer it up a little bit more. It's such a nice holiday base. Now, one thing that I think is probably gonna be a little bit inevitable from this holiday, especially if we're gonna to have to continue wearing masks outside the whole trip, is just the breakouts around my chin and around my mouth, because unfortunately, mask wearing for me, especially mask wearing when I get hot and sweaty, just do not, do not coincide. So I've got the Laura Mercier concealer, which is a really, really great one. And I just apply that with a little, little sponge just to kind of help conceal those problem areas. Then I'll use the brightening side of it just to give a little touch up under my eyes. I'm not too bad at the moment, actually, in terms of um, having like big bags under my eyes. I was yesterday, oh my God, so tired because we got up at half four and I managed to have a like 20 minute power nap on the plane. I always bring with me when I travel, something I forgot to show you actually in my pack with me, um, was an eye mask. And I forgot to show you that because I literally didn't pack it until the last minute just as I was leaving. I was like, oh my God, I cannot believe I almost forgot this. Um, but I will always bring an eye mask just so that when I'm on the plane, I've got something to just kind of like switch off with. I can have a little power nap no matter what time you're flying. I feel like it's always good to have a power nap. Look at these little alpha, alpha sprouts sticking out from obviously clipping my hair back. Um, but yeah, so my eye bags aren't too bad at the moment because we had a good, I think about 10 hours sleep last night, which was really, really needed. I seriously needed just to catch up on that sleep and just to like get that zen back. <laughs> I am then gonna go in with my favorite Dior bronzer. I really, really love this. It's just such a like natural, natural bronze and really helps just to kind of like sculpt my cheeks a little bit. I feel like because that's such a harsh light, that looks like such an orange line in the camera, but I promise you that's a nice, nice natural bronze in real life. Obviously, especially because I use fake tan as well. Um, and I fake tanned before I came with the Saint Tropez Purity Gel. I absolutely love that. Um, so good. I just need to kind of like bronze up my face a little bit and get it to a similar color to the rest of my body because my face, obviously I use so many like creams, moisturizers and SPF so it doesn't seem to like tan as much as my body. So I usually just kind of rely on a little bit more bronzer just to bring it to the stage that my body is at. Next, I'm gonna go in with brows. I really don't need to do a lot with my brows, to be honest. Like, I I do think I don't have the worst brows in the world. They're quite full, they're quite thick. I just kind of have to like fill in the gaps as I go. Also, I did bring um, my NARS Euphoria palette in the end because also it's such a great one for the mirror that it has. Like, hello, that's, you are currently leaning up against my jewelry box and that's the only way to get you to the right height um little bts there obviously i can't show you like there's nothing i didn't bring my tripod so i can't put you put this next to this big mirror and you never know what the mirror situation is like whenever you go to hotels and stuff so i always think it's nice just to bring 
a big mirror that you can use for your makeup that you know that you can rely on where you can see like your whole face you know that you can you know use it if you need to i think it's so handy to have products that double up as that and then to hold them in place, the only product I ever want to use is the Refire Brow Gel. This is in the clear. Now, I think I've spoken about this before, but you do have to be careful because it is a little bit white. Um, and if you apply too much, it does make your eyebrows go a little bit white. So just be as light handed as you can with this and just give them a little brush up. And honestly, it gives such a good... I mean, look at that difference. Such a good product. And it like really imitates soap brows, but I'm the kind of person that soap brows just does not work on. And also it's a really affordable product. So I'll link it down below if you want to shop it. Um, if you're on the hunt for a new eyebrow product, this is definitely the one for you. For eyes, I'm going to first go in with an eye primer. And I don't normally use this on like a day-to-day -day basis, but especially if you're in maybe like a little bit of a warmer climate, somewhere that's a little bit more like humid, I do find that my eye makeup moves quite a lot. And actually, what is going on here? Um, and actually I do find that this works really well under concealer if you've got a really bad breakout and like a really really bad spot i sometimes mix this in with a bit of concealer just to really help it kind of like stick to the problem area but it's like a really really easy product to use i basically just dot a little bit on my eye like a soup and just blend it in with my finger and it just really helps to kind of like hold that product in place make sure that my eye makeup doesn't crease really badly and make sure that it doesn't you know my mascara doesn't end up on the top of my eyelid and it just really helps to kind of like perfect that eye makeup look okay now that i have got the primer on i'm going to start with the base and i always like to use the same bronzer for my base when it comes to my eyes because i just think it really helps to tie in your whole makeup look together it helps to kind of like it's a really simple base to use and it just makes sure that it really works with your skin tone so i just really buff that into the corner of my eye the crease of my eye and then also blend it across the lid a little bit and it's a great really natural base to use when it comes to eyeshadow now i'm thinking of doing quite a just like nice natural glowy eye makeup look so i'm gonna go in with a bit of a kind of thicker um less fluffy brush and i think i'm gonna use this is actually more of like a pinky highlighter color but i really really like it blended in to my crease as well i think it's just a really nice way to just kind of like emphasize and make it a little bit more of like an evening look I also like to blend it under my eye just ever so slightly just to kind of like pull the whole makeup look together and make it look a little bit more like smoky and blown out it always looks really weird at this stage but i promise you it's going to come together in a minute i am then going to use this really gorgeous color it's like a pinky goldy like a very champagne color and i'm just going to blend that across the whole lid because that's such a nice way to blend the more like warmer colors in and i think it's a really really nice one and then I always think when it comes to this kind of like when you're using a little bit more product, a little bit more on your eyes, it's really nice to just kind of like open up in the middle a little bit. So I'm going to go in with this very white shade and basically use it in the inner corner of my eye and pull it into my eye a little bit just to really like warm up the look and make you look a little bit more awake, a little bit more alive. I think it's a really flattering way to do it. Just to show you the difference between the eye that does have it and the eye that doesn't. I feel like it makes such a huge difference when it comes to like just opening up the eye and blending the whole makeup look together. And then of course it would not be a signature Ellie eye look if we weren't going to do a little cat eye with the brown eyeshadow. This palette is really starting to get a bit messy. I need to give it a little bit of a clean. But I just think doing this eyeliner brings the whole look together, really lifts your face. Like I feel like this looks nice but it's about to go from like an 8.5 to a 10 out of 10 with just a little bit of eyeliner a voila really does take the look from 8 to a 10 out of 10 i absolutely love it if you want to know how i do my kind of like signature liner flick and get like a really really sharp flick i will link down below to the video i've done like a real and a full youtube tutorial so i'll link both of them down below depending on how you like your content whether you just want a short little tutorial if you want to see like in depth how i do it and i'm going to finish this off with mascara because i always feel like the eye makeup look is not complete until you've added your mascara and of course i'm going to be using the lancome idol mascara i just absolutely adore this one it really thickens lengthens without being too clumpy without being too much i just I literally could not live without this mascara. It's the perfect daytime mascara, but it's also a great one when it comes to buildability and just really elongating and volumizing your lashes. I feel like this is such a great one that you can just layer and layer and build and build and it doesn't get clumpy. I really hate mascaras that get really clumpy when you start adding 
a few layers to this, but this is so, so natural. Look at that difference, mascara versus no mascara. Honestly, could not live without this one. And then just to finish off with a little bit of lipstick, I'm gonna use my absolute favorite combo um, for a bit more of a nighttime look. Now you guys know I love this lip liner. This is the Clinique lip liner in the shade Intense Sassafras, and it's just the perfect lip liner for me, like such a good shade. Um, and then I'm gonna finish it off with my Code 8. This is the shade that I created with them that I called Petite Pink, and it's just such a gorgeous, pink like such a me color i mean it makes sense because we literally bespoke made this lipstick it was such a fun experience i'll link the vlog down below actually it was a vlogmas vlog but i feel like it's not too well actually it's quite festive but if you're happy to watch a vlogmas vlog in january then i definitely recommend watching it because it was a really fun day and that is the makeup look done for the night just a super simple but like a little bit more elevated look for an evening makeup and of course hair i mean just curled it this morning just did my like kind of blow dry look curls which I'm really really loving at the moment they're a little bit more like low maintenance so I can just kind of like tuck it back if I want to wear a hat I can wear a hat it just makes it really easy but I'm loving this makeup look I think it just looks really natural but a little bit glowy and a little bit more glam so time to get dressed and ready I'm obviously not going to be wearing this tonight so time to get my evening outfit on and get myself looking fully glammed up and then this evening's outfit of the night, I am wearing the ASOS skirt that you would have seen in my pack with me video. I absolutely adore it. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous deep shade of brown. It's like a really rusty colour. Oh, it's coming across a little bit more orangey in tone on camera, but it's like a really stunning chocolatey brown colour, which I absolutely adore. And I've just paired it with my little cashmere roll next. It does get very, very chilly in the evening. So it's just nice to have something a little bit warmer, something that I can kind of layer up with. I have popped on my little Swarovski necklace that Alex got me for Christmas, which I really love with this kind of a roll next. It just pokes out and looks so, so elegant. You know, I also think it's really missing from my wardrobe is a little pearl necklace, like a, a string of like long pearls or like a long pearl with just a pearl pendant. Cause I think that would look absolutely amazing with a jumper like this. I love doing that with roll necks, just wearing like really super elegant jewelry. Um, my boots are currently downstairs. You would have seen the boots in my back with me video. So I'm not gonna put those on yet. And then for just like an extra layer, because I didn't wanna bring a coat here, what I did instead is bring my river cape. And I absolutely adore this because it's actually really, really warm and it goes quite nicely. All the tones kind of like tie in really, really nicely together. It doesn't like detract too much from the skirt. So I just chuck this over the top for a little extra layer of warmth whilst walking to and from the restaurant from the villa. So love this. I would definitely recommend picking up something like this. Just like a plain black cape would also be a really nice option. And it was great because I actually got really chilly on the plane. And I think I mentioned that I was going to take this um, in my like little handbag with me. And I'm so glad that I did because I got really cold on the plane and I did have to like put this over me. I feel like they always just blast the aircon on the plane. Now, I was wearing a lot of layers. I had a jumper. I had on like, you know, layer underneath it, but I was just so, but I was just so cold still. So I'm really glad that I had this as a little extra blanket i think it's so so versatile so i'll link this down below if it's not available i'll find some other kind of like similar vibes maybe some plain black ones ones that can be worn for an evening look and just look really super elegant so that is my outfit of the evening oh and i almost forgot my bag oh, i'm just loving all these tones these browns and blacks look so so lovely together very like winter sun i really like it my tamelio bag it really has been the perfect day bag night bag everything bag and it fits everything that i need in it so this is the outfit of the day i I'm very, very ready for food, very ready to get my belly full. That's one thing I will say as well, actually, this is what I really like about this skirt. You could tuck the jumper in, but I'm gonna keep the jumper out because we are gonna have a big food baby by the end of this. I'm really rapidly losing the light. I must say that is one thing about a winter sun holidays. You do lose the light a lot quicker than you do if you were to go away in summer. So, so I think seeing as though we are rapidly losing the light, that's the perfect time to finish off this little outfit of the day section and go and get my belly filled with really yummy food. Tantas estrellas brillan, quiero un carro que corra más. Traigo un fin y después fumo un cabo de cigarette. Me pierdo en la ciudad, ha llegado mi tiempo ya. Voy a vivir porque si yo no soy yo, pues quién. Todo 
menos caen a mi lado Los menos los arranqué Me siento feliz porque Vivo mi vida centrado Te burlaste de mí, se hace a cabo Trata de festejar, celebramos el bienestar Tantas estrellas brillan, quiero un carro que cola más Nada me rompe, no, no, nada me rompe Trata de festejar, celebramos el bienestar Tantas estrellas brillan, y Marte me estará mientras llueve Nada me rompe, no, no, nada me rompe next morning now and my goodness was last night's meal incredible absolutely incredible it's the only way to describe it it was just insane i don't think i've ever had such a like a high quality meal it's such a cool place like it was a really trendy like cool and oh my god it was absolutely amazing one funny thing as well about spain actually is you'll notice that as i was like vlogging the restaurant was quite empty um and we had our reservation for half seven which i feel like in the uk is actually fairly late for a reservation because you don't start eating till about like eight or half eight um in Spain, that is so early, so it was literally dead when we first arrived. But by the time we were leaving at about 10, half 10, it was heaving. All the, all the tables started filling up and all the like locals were coming in. I feel like you always know that that's a good restaurant to go to when the locals go there as well. So it was like this really fresh seafood restaurant and they literally had like fish out the front that you could like go to if you wanted to and you could like choose which one you wanted. They had like lobsters in the tank. They were incredible and the service was absolutely amazing like the waiters were also attentive which was really nice and just like really really high quality and um one thing i will say actually about spain with regards to food especially if you're worried anything about like allergies or anything if you are similar to me and have a gluten intolerance all of the menus seem to have just like rather than i feel like in the uk they usually have to offer you like a separate gluten-free menu rather than offering you a separate gluten-free menu they basically just have everything written on the menu what is gluten-free like and naturally a lot of their foods are naturally gluten-free um and then they'll usually do little notes being like this doesn't this isn't gluten-free but can be made gluten-free like yesterday i had a caesar salad for lunch and all i had to do was ask not to have the croutons in and it was a gluten-free salad so that is one thing that's really great and there was loads of options that i had yesterday um so it was really really nice we literally drank an entire bottle of moet like between us there was four of us and we drank an entire bottle of moet um so yeah drank a lot ate a lot but it was such an amazing experience and the kind of thing that i would at 10 thousand percent recommend because it was absolutely incredible so if you are coming to marbella it's like we're kind of staying quite in the like old town um quite central into the old town and it was like a 10 minute cab ride out um so it wasn't bad at all and it was like really really worth it it was such an incredible meal so we really really enjoyed ourselves i literally had such a food baby that i came home and it was only about half ten and i just went straight to bed i was like i need i need to just sleep this off because there is so so much food in me right now but we've got a really fun day planned today actually it's supposed to be really nice weather today i think it's hitting about 22 degrees which is definitely the warmest it's been since we've been here it's kind of stayed between the 18 between like 16 and 18 degrees but today it's going up to 22 so i'm very very excited about that um and we have decided today we're gonna have a little bit of a day of shopping we're heading to i don't think it's an actual like shopping center um but it's an area in marbella where basically they have all the designer stores and i'm so so excited to have a little bit of a wonder probably mostly a window shop um because there's nothing that i overly have my eye on at the moment um but like they've got like a dior and they've got a chanel a gucci a few others so we thought we would have a little wander down there enjoy the sunshine enjoy the weather and have a little bit of a day of shopping so i'm really looking forward to that today i think it's going to be a really nice way to spend monday morning we're still waiting on the announcement about the masks so i think we are still going to have to wear masks around the shops um which is a little bit of a pain like a little bit it does it does really affect you because especially because like obviously the old town's very hilly <laughs> when you're going up the hills and your mask is like sucking into your face you're like <laughs> um but hopefully those rules will be changing i think from today so at least we'll get like a full day of 
not having to worry too much about wearing masks um so yeah that is just one thing to note at the moment we do have to wear masks but hopefully it is going to be changing so yeah today should be a really really fun day of shopping indulgence enjoying ourselves and if you can't do that when you're on holiday then when can you <laughs> Okay, so today's outfit of the day, keeping it really super simple with today's outfit. I'm just wearing the little new look skirt that you guys would have seen in my pack with me. It's a really cute like midi skirt. It's got a nice little slit in it. So it's just like really super easy to style and wear and so comfortable as well. And really great for like weather like this where it's not boiling but you want something quite light and loose so i really, really like this i'm pretty sure they don't do this exact one anymore but i think i found something similar to link down below so i will link that below for you guys then of course i'm wearing my vasia trainers which are just the comfiest things ever i would 100 percent recommend investing in vasias if especially if you're someone that like gets a lot of blisters or you really can't cope with blisters they're really really comfortable for that and such a nice pair of shoes i absolutely adore them and then i'm just styling up a little black tee over the top this is literally just a plain black t-shirt um which i think looks really nice i kind of wish i'd brought more jewelry because i think it would have looked nice with maybe a couple more necklaces um but i'm wearing my diamond necklace and i've just got quite simple jewelry on um especially because i really hate it when i've got lots of rings on and i start getting a bit hot and sweaty my fingers start getting swollen so yeah and then got my little kind of blown out hair look today um, and then of course bag wise my demelier i'm actually really loving wearing it where i double up the straps and just have it as a little shoulder bag i think that's a really nice way to wear it but when it does get quite busy and when we get into more crowded places i'll usually put it across body just for more of like a security thing than anything else um and then just for a little extra layer of warmth my oversized white blazer which i absolutely adore i'm really glad that i chose to bring this one so i'm really glad i bought this because it really is just the perfect thing to like throw over my shoulders i mean i can even wear it just like on my shoulders you know not wear it like properly in my arms or anything um and it just looks so nice i think it kind of sums up the outfit a little bit it could look a little bit wintry if it wasn't for the bag and the blazer i feel like that's what kind of makes the outfit a little bit more like spring at summer appropriate so that's today's outfit of the day ready for a day of shopping A sweet mountain breeze and a fragment of my mind. I said, Darling, you are all I want for sure. Darling, you give me everything and more. I said, Darling, ooh, 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 yeah, girl, you know I miss you. I keep getting to a point where I'm so hungry that every time I sit down for lunch, I totally forgot to forget to show you because I am just too interested in eating it. Um, we are just sat down at a restaurant called La Habana, um, just on the front, and you can literally see all the yachts behind me. It's absolutely insane. You've got so many like boats and yachts, and I've just had an amazing it was a prawn and avocado salad. Oh my god! And we've got a fresh jug of sangria to enjoy. So. I am so happy, so content, and it is just glorious with the sunshine shining on you. Today's like the warmest day that we've had, and it's getting up to about 22 degrees, which is so nice. Someone seems to be showing off their motorboat over there. I don't know if you can hear that, um, but it's just absolutely glorious being able to sit out in the sun, enjoy some sunshine, and have it like really nice and warm so it was such an incredible lunch i'm sorry i keep forgetting to show you what i'm eating because i'm just getting so hungry and i just wolf it down so quickly but yeah it's absolutely amazing we can now just sit out enjoy the sunshine and enjoy our sangria you are all i want for sure darling you give me everything and more i said darling I miss you mm -hmm. 
Slide talking, girl, you're walking circles through my mind And it seems like every day just gets better when you're mine When you love now and forever, for oh my hurt you are the cure Like a spring you keep me healthy with a substance that is pure And I said darling, darling I'm feeling rich although I'm poor I said darling your arms, I feel secure. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> you have to crouch down. You are? You need to crouch down, you're too tall. So, no, you need to crouch. <laughs> Honestly, these boats, guys, are just absolutely insane. We've been walking along the marina and... <sighs> you gonna buy me a boat one day? Of course. Thanks, baby. <laughs> Super quick outfit of the day this morning because we're heading straight out to go and grab a morning coffee and <laughs> I'm running a little bit late, but just to show today's outfit of the day, I am wearing my really gorgeous, like ripped, stretchy jersey racer vest dress. I'll see if I can find something similar to link down below for you guys. It's such a super comfy dress. We're going for like a walk along the beach and I thought this would make a really nice outfit. And then I have just paired it with my blazer over the top, which I'm literally wearing as a layering piece for everything because it just goes with absolutely everything. And of course, my bag. I'm really loving it. It's doubled up as like a little shoulder bag. I think it just makes it a little bit more casual and really super simple. And then I washed my hair last night and I've just gone for a little bobby bob this morning just for something a bit different. So that is today's outfit of the day. I'm debating whether to bring my hat because I think I'm worried about burning my scalp, especially because I have a party. Yeah, I think I'm going to bring my hat today. Et voila, we are ready to go. Obviously, I've not got my shoes on, but they're downstairs. I'll be wearing my beiges again because that's all I've been wearing this holiday. But yeah, that is today's outfit of the day, ready for the last day of the holiday. I'm so sad. I can't believe we're already on to the last day, but that's today's look. Ooh, yeah, girl, you know I miss you, baby. You know I miss you. Well, I think we can all agree it doesn't get much better than this. Coffee in hand. I've got a beautiful view of the little olive grove behind me. Sitting in the sunshine, it's gorgeous. I might take my jacket off in a minute. So, so warm. I cannot believe it's the last day. We just want to soak up every last ounce of sunshine, of those rays, of that vitamin D. I am just loving it. Look at this view behind me. Is that not just the most gorgeous thing ever? <laughs> I think I said olive tree. I obviously meant orange because um, I don't know about you, but I've never seen an, an orange olive tree before. But this is the land of the orange trees. They are just so, so beautiful. Thanks for correcting me, babe. <laughs> My mum's seen an olive that big before. I know. And that colour. And that orange. Rich, although I'm poor, I said, darling. Everything and more I said darling is the life we've come down to the beach we've just been walking along the south coast of spain it's absolutely glorious today look at the view in front of me it is just absolutely stunning the sun has not stopped shining today it is just gorgeous i'm absolutely loving this weather it really is just perfect weather like i put a little bit of spf on because it is getting quite warm i was like really worried i was gonna burn my shoulders you guys know what i'm like in terms of burning and um, it's just so so nice to be able to just sit out in the sunshine and enjoy another drink we're just looking along at the promenade and it's just absolutely glorious we've been able to see Gibraltar again and actually today which you're not going to be able to see it on camera we have been able to see the tip of africa which is so so cool to be able to see that you've seen i've actually never been to africa there's definitely one on the bucket list would be absolutely amazing to visit um, but it's really cool to be able to see it and say that you've seen it um, so this is just basically the plan this afternoon sit drink enjoy the sunshine enjoy the warm weather and soak up the last day of sunshine that we've got here oh, baby. Oh, no, I miss you darling no, I miss you baby I 
I miss you. I feel like there is literally nothing better than that post daytime pre dinner shower that you have when you're on holiday. I've just gotten out of the shower now. Alice is just tapping away on his laptop in case you can hear that in the background. Um, but I've just got out of the shower now. Uh, we had such a lovely afternoon on the beach. Honestly, it was glorious. I started to get really, really sweaty, which is why I needed to have a shower before dinner tonight. Um, literally just sat on the beach, having drinks, having some food, enjoying that sea breeze. It did start to pick up a little bit actually by the late afternoon, like it did start to get a little bit breezy. Um, that is something I definitely would consider about a winter holiday. It's just, it's not always as warm as you think it's gonna be, um, but it did get really, really hot whilst we were down on the beach. Um, but I wanted to give you just a little bit of reality because as I said at the start of the holiday that I just know I'm gonna break out and I'm already starting. I don't know how well you can see it around my chin. And this is something that I normally would be too self-conscious to show you, but I really wanted to kind of like give you a little bit of reality and just remind you that if you get like this as well, it's okay, like mask knee is such a thing at the moment. And the fact that we're having to wear them all day, every day, um, the announcement came out today and they're not making any changes. So if you are thinking of coming to Spain, that is something to note unless you're going somewhere where it's like a resort i think if you're in like a private resort and you're not leaving then you're allowed to keep your mask off um but if you're like us and you're wandering around like the villages and the towns and shopping and things like that you do have to have your mask on literally 24 7 and it does mean that i am just experiencing quite a lot of breakout here which it's fine, I'm just currently using like my usual skincare. Um, I didn't bring any retinol with me, which I'm a little bit annoyed that I forgot to bring any. Um, so I'm just currently using like my hyaluronic acids and things like that. But when I do get home, I will be giving myself like a really good pamper just to really try and like get my skin back to a place where it was kind of before the holiday. Um, and I know that tomorrow on the plane, it's not gonna help at all. It's also just going to aggravate those breakouts. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of a reality check that perfect skin, it's not always not always possible and not always gonna happen and actually it's totally okay to be having these breakouts to be experiencing these kind of like you know things at the moment because a lot of people are going through the same thing um but yeah i'm gonna get myself ready also this is one thing that i love about the jewelry that i wear in case you're thinking oh my god you wore her jewelry in the shower yes you did um all of my jewelry is like stainless steel or um real gold or you know things like that so i never worry so all of my pandora bracelets my rings and everything like that are always absolutely fine my monica vinida rings always fine in the shower which is what i love about them because it means you don't have to worry too much um but yeah i'm now gonna get myself ready for our last evening meal of the holiday i'm so sad that it's almost over already but we're gonna have a really really nice meal tonight which i'm really excited about well, we have officially lost the light now so super quick outfit of the night oh oh at tn um i've just like topped up my hair topped up my makeup just gone for a little bit of like a smoky eye um got my usual jewelry on as well i've just added a few more like rings and stuff just for a little bit more of an evening look and then of course i am wearing my cape which i absolutely adore and i've just paired it with an all black look which i just think looks super simple super chic i absolutely love it so i've just got a black turtleneck on and my black h&m trousers i will link them down below of course then i'm going to pair them with my black boots just to finish off the outfits so ready for another evening of lots of sangria lots more seafood and lots more good times i am so looking forward to the last last night here and just like that we are back in the mirror in the travel outfit ready to head home i cannot believe how quickly this trip has gone i am all packed up ready for the airport i've got my travel outfit back on i'm just wearing my h&m jumper i've got like a little racer vest on underneath this in case i do get warm as we're heading to the airport and then my asos wide leg trousers which are super super comfy the only thing about them is they don't have pockets so i just wear my crossbody bag with this and then it just means i've got like everything i need right with me um i literally don't have a drop of makeup on because as i said the other night i am breaking out and i'm just wanting to try and give my skin a little bit of a break and try and give it everything that it needs so i'm not wearing any makeup whatsoever just to make sure that i give my skin a bit of a breather a bit of a break and hopefully try and kind of control and maintain those breakouts but it has been such a wonderful holiday it's gone so so quickly it really was the break that we both needed so we've had the best five days 
Now it's time to get ourselves sorted, head home and get back to reality. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this travel vlog, have enjoyed it coming to the south coast of Spain with me. If you haven't, hit that subscribe button already. I would absolutely love it if you did that and please be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you want to see lots more travel videos coming in 2022. But I hope you guys have the best evening, day, week, wherever you're watching this and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!